Previously on Heartland. Ty! Ty Spartan's gone. You don't have to come pick me up all the way to the ranch. Hey. Everything okay? <sighs> we have to face facts. You may not find them. Ty, that's him. Oh, the horse, 1800, fire number 61. He was all I had left of her. She died trying to save him. He is my horse, and no one's gonna take him from me. And how are you gonna get Spartan out of a locked auction house with a guard duty on site? What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> you are grounded until further notice. Got myself a pro rodeo sponsorship. I'll see ya. Yes, you will. chalet in the mountains? <laughs> and what exactly does one do with three fireplaces? Peter, that sounds amazing, but I can't. Because I've just launched my new winter marketing campaign and I have to stick around in case I get a booking. Okay, look, next, next weekend for sure, okay? I'll call you later, bye. No, well, Lou, I don't want to tell you how to bail your own hay, but I think you're wasting your time with this new campaign. There's a reason that Dude Ranch is shut down in the winter. Well, not this one. Heartland's <coughs> winter wonderland. Cross-country skiing, ice skating, hay rides. What's most like? How about it being so cold your nose hairs freeze? How was your ride? It was fine. Are you limping? No. Well, yeah. We were out riding, and there was this tree lying across the trail. Well, more like a branch, and he just stopped, and I went flying. You OK? Yeah. Well, a guy from Black Hills Ranch just called. He said he's got a horse that won't load, so I told him to bring him by tomorrow. Tomorrow? Great. Is that a problem? No, just that I've been working with Spartan for days, and I can't even fix him. How am I supposed to fix someone else's horse? What's going on, Amy? I don't know. I, I told you. I, he just He's afraid to jump. I'm talking about Spartan. What is that supposed to mean? I saw you in the ring the other day. You were tensing up, leaning back in your saddle, jerking your reins like you were in another world. I was not leaning back in my saddle, and I was definitely not jerking my reins. OK, Spartan's just freaked out because Wes walked in here in the middle of the night, and he stole him while you were asleep upstairs. Grandpa, you've got to know your target market. So far, I've sent brochures to travel agencies, tourism offices, and corporations. Well, how about the Russian Laplanders? I hear they really like the cold. Ha ha. Hello? Yes, we do have an availability this weekend. Mountain Direct? OK. Uh, all the cabins. That's no problem. Why don't you just uh, give me your email address, and I can send you off a quote. Price is not an issue. OK, then. We'll see you Friday. Great. <gasps> wow! Bring on the snow. She's really Let's starting to freak me out, Jack. Well, starting? It's been a while for me now.
Victor White too, miracle worker. I had lost faith in myself and I was out of answers. I didn't know what to do next. He helped me see the truth. To my courageous warrior woman, love Victor. have a lot of work to do. No, I'm all done. Except for chopping that cord of wood, but I thought I'd lunch Harley for a bit first. You know, I broke a horse or two in my day. I could give you a hand. I appreciate the offer, Jack, but my first horse. I kind of want to do it on my own. Come on, Harley. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Let's go, Harley. You know, Ty, the whole point is to get Harley running around in circles. Thanks, Mallory. Come on. So, you must be pretty happy Caleb's gone. No tears from this end. So when are you going to break up with Kit? What? Come on, Ty, it's obvious that she's a rebound. So when are you going to make your move? Victor Whitetail. Victor Whitetail? Oh, just an old, old friend to your mom's. Bit of a legend with horses. What do you think's wrong with Spartan? I don't know, but I think that Wes screwed him up pretty bad. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Hand me that ratchet, would you? Um, I was wondering if maybe I could take Spartan to see Victor. No, I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? Well, for starters, you're still grounded. Well, you could always ground me for another week at the end of my sentence. Grandpa, I'm all caught up on my homework. Well, miracles abound. So can I go? Nah, I don't want you driving in the mountains this time of year. Well, I was hoping maybe you could drive me. Grandpa, I've done everything I know to try and fix Spartan. You have to call him first, see if he's even still up there. He might be. I already did. He's expecting me tomorrow. Tomorrow? Amy, you can't. We have a huge corporate booking. No, you have a corporate booking, Lou. I am going to see Victor. That's just great. And who is going to take my guests on trail rides? I don't know. Get Ty and his girlfriend to do it. Grandpa, talk to her. Oh, it might do her good to get away for a while. Get away from what? <sighs> How well did my mom know Victor? Uh, like I said, they were friends. Good friends, or? Yeah, I guess. So how come she didn't talk about him? Oh, she did. Oh, we spoke very highly of him, too. You're probably just too young to remember. So why did they stop being friends? Well, life has a way of moving on, Amy. People drift apart. Hey, road trip food. Peace offering. Thank you. Have a good trip, okay? Okay. Uh, I think Ty's busy. We should get going. Long drive ahead of us. See ya. Man, they are stubborn. 
Amy and Ty? Someone needs to pull a serious Jerry Springer on those two. Again. You do, Joe. <laughs> Your grandfather never could take a hug. Well, Tansa, you must be Amy. Hi. Cousin's out on the range. He's looking for his eagle. Well, I should get going, I guess. Don't you want to say hi to Victor first? Uh, tell him I'll see him when I come back to pick you up. I, I just want to get home before dark. I should show this guy to his room. Range is that way. Decent. Okay. So, uh, I'll see ya in a couple days. Okay. Here. I thought you went skiing. Ah, it wouldn't be any fun without you. Oh, crazy. Um, hey, I, uh, I, I have this, um, this corporate booking. They're gonna be, they're gonna be arriving any minute, so, uh... I don't think you do. No, uh, Peter, I'm, I'm actually, I'm serious. They booked every cabin, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really, really busy. Well, the good thing is I hear the folks at Mountain Direct are, <clears throat> are really laid back, so... What? How did you know the name of the, um... You are Mountain Direct? Hi. Amy Fleming, look at you. You're all grown up. <laughs> you sure do look like your mom. A lot of people tell me that. I was uh, down in Arizona doing a horse clinic when she made her journey. I didn't find out until I got back. Let's see if I can uh, put this one into the West. <laughs> Woo-hoo-wee! The sacred golf spirits are sure with me today. <laughs> Your turn. Oh. No, I've never golfed before. Well, no time like the present. Now, we've got all four sacred nations here. Well, what color would you like? Ah, the red nation. Good choice. Just hold the club like this. Here. And then a nice, gentle swing, and Tonto's your uncle. Lifted your head on that one. Wanted to see where the ball was going, eh? Go ahead. And give it another try. <laughs> Just keep the little round globe right in front of you. Okie dokie. Well, let's go say hello to your horse. Just pull up right in front. Famous Lou Fleming Equestrian Connection, huh? Yep. Oh, hey, I can get it. That's okay, I got it. Wow. It's amazing, Lou. Mother Nature at her finest. <laughs> that was quite the entrance. Yeah, I just I couldn't wait for you to, to see this place. So uh, what do you think? It's very nice. Very nice. And dark. That way, it's more romantic when we light the fire. 
Oh. Can't wait for that. <laughs> Me too. So I'm gonna let you get settled. Settled? Mm hmm I'm settled. <laughs> oh, I need to go and tell my, uh, my ranch hand that I won't be needing all those trail horses. Well, we'll need a couple, right? You wanna go ride? Yeah, I'll, I'll come help you. No, no. You can stay here and light the fire. Do you know how to light a fire? Oh, I think so. Okay. Mwah. Well, I will be right back, and you just don't go anywhere without me, okay? Just stay, yeah. Oh, my God. How you doing? Almost done. You okay? I just jogged from the dude ranch. Um, turns out I won't be needing your services after all. There's only one guest. Oh, I thought you said the cabins were booked. Yeah, yeah, they are. He's a, he's a very private person, so I'll take those two. Oh, um, he doesn't want anyone else around, so just stay away from the dude ranch and, and make sure you tell Mallory. Okay. okay. Thanks, sweetie. All right. <laughs> Looks like we got a little free time on our hands. Um, actually, I was thinking about working with Harley for a bit. You know, there's only one thing that I like more than watching a cowboy break a horse. Helping him break a horse. <laughs> See, I... I don't know, I don't understand. He usually loves to jump. I don't know why he won't. There's an old Indian saying. You can't know a horse's heart until you've walked a few miles in his horseshoes. What do you say we go for a walk? We just got here. <laughs> Can I borrow that? Your watch. Sure. You got a cell phone? Yeah. Can I borrow that too? Okay. Horses don't know that between the rising and setting of grandfather's son, there's this little thing we humans call time. Coming? So, you just tie a nice soft cotton rope around him so it won't burn him or cut him. There you go, good boy. And now, we have control of him. So we can sack him out, put a saddle on him, do whatever we want, and he can't kick us or run away. Seems kind of cruel, don't you think? Well, it's only cruel if the person doing the tying doesn't know what they're doing. I don't know, it just feels weird. Because it's not Amy's way. No, just, I can't do this. Fine, you do it her way. So you and your mom rescued this, uh... well, what's his name? Spartan. Right, Spartan. From this guy. Yeah, it was pretty stormy that night, and, well, we just kind of, you know. Spartan must be pretty special to you. Yeah. Must have been pretty scary when he was stolen from you. So he's a jumper. Yeah. I started entering him in competitions last year. Ty was my coach. We actually, we won the fall finale. Who's Ty? He's just a friend. He's still your coach? No. No, I've just been kind of busy this year with school and with other horses. And on top of it all, our stable hand just left for the rodeo circuit, so. Sounds like you got a lot of panic on your plate. Just the way it is, I guess. <sighs> so, what's your plan with Spartan? Don't have one. Yet this river doesn't have a plan either. <laughs> Bet it doesn't sit around wondering where it came from or where it's going. It just kind of goes with the flow. Maybe a good thing for us two leggeds to learn from that river, eh? Go. 
go. How goes the battle today? They still won't listen to me. Well, what are you trying to tell him? It's no use, Jack. <laughs> it's not going to be broke by the time she gets back. Who? Oh. I just wanted to... Let him press her. No, I... <laughs> well, maybe, yeah. The thing about breaking a horse tie is if you go at it like you got 15 minutes, it'll take you all day. If you go at it like you got all day, well, it'll take you 15 minutes. You hear that, Harley? We got all day, buddy. See that, Jack? There's nothing to it. Whoa! Whoa! Easy, easy, boy. easy! Easy, Harley, come on! I still live here, unless you booked out my room. I just, uh, I, I wasn't expecting you until later. Ty told me only one guest arrived. Yeah, and he rented out all the cabins, too. He wants some um, total and utter privacy, so. Oh, not another confidentiality agreement. No, no, nothing like that. Um, but if you guys could just stay away from the dude ranch, that'd be great. That's fine by me. That's weird. Why does he want total and utter privacy? I don't know, Mallory. Some people just like the peace and quiet, OK? I mean. I know that's hard for you to comprehend, but it does happen. What if he's another oil slick pretending to be nice, but really he's just drilling on Jack's land? Mallory, he is not an oil slick, okay? Holy. Sensitive much? Oh, love it. <laughs> mm. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Except now you, you have... What? <laughs> you have, um, some chocolate. I think. I think I need to. Ah, <laughs> uh, so sorry. Yeah. I have to take this. Okay. I'm sorry, it just could be. Hey, what's up? Oh my God, no! Is it his heart? <laughs> well, that's good. Let me guess—he was fixing the roof and fell off the ladder, right? <laughs> Mr. Handyman. My father-in-law. It's okay. Sorry. Um. No, sure, I can I can definitely take Max for the weekend. Can you just pack up his stuff for me and I'll be there in a couple hours? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Bye. <sighs> Lou, I'm so sorry. I... I don't know, Grandpa. I just I don't see what mom got out of coming here. I mean, all we do is golf and go for walks. Yeah, we haven't even worked with Spartan once. I don't know. I, I'm just saying that maybe. Yeah, yeah I'm still here. Um, I was just saying that. Um, oh, maybe I just need to get used to Victor's style of horsemanship. Got in pretty late last night. Did I? I must have lost track of time. Internet guy. Seems like 
Things are getting serious between you two. No, not at all, Grandpa. Looks like my guest needs some fresh towels. I'll, I'll be right back. Lou. I think you're forgetting something. Towels. Right. The towels. Where's my head? How did you know my mother? You um, lifted your head on that one. <laughs> Were you and my mom more than friends? Yes, at one time. I met your mom at a Mustang rally. She was on a mission to rescue this Pinto from being put down. Always trying to help the four-leggeds. Your mom, she had a gift with horses, Amy. Now it's your gift. I'm not so sure about that. I can't even fix Spartan. Maybe Spartan doesn't need fixing. He's a star jumper who refuses to jump. I don't jump when people ask me to either. What do you say we go for a walk? We're always walking, Victor. Are we ever going to work with Spartan? Yep. Where to this time? Guess we'll know when we get there. <laughs> Stay there. Carriage awaits. What do you think? Are you out of your mind? What's going on? I don't know. Why, why don't you tell me, Mr. Secretive? What? You have a family? You have a wife? No. <sighs> Yes, I know, an ex-wife. Many years ex. And I didn't say anything about it until I think it was a big deal. Yeah, no big deal, right? You know, everyone has an ex-wife. Heck, I have an ex-wife. Yeah. Okay, look, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean it like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm so sorry. Come on, come on, Max. Max, sit. Are you okay? He, he just, he gets really excited when he meets new people. I'm, I'm so sorry. Max, he... Wait, wait. Max is your dog? Yeah, he's my dog. What? Oh my God, did you think he was my... Lou, I would have told you if I had a kid. <laughs> what kind of guy do you think I am? Sometimes I like to put down a little grandmother's stone to give thanks. Sometimes to ask for direction. Sometimes I like to say a prayer for a loved one who's hurting or one who's journeyed to the spirit world. You mean died? No such thing as death, my girl. Just a continuation of spirit, a, a change of world. Around and around the wheel we go. What is this? Spirit of life. Some people call it a, a medicine wheel. What does it do? Uh, we'd be here a lifetime if I shared with you all the teachings my mushroom shared with me. I'll just give you the Coles Notes version. <laughs> there are four directions, right? Right. The east. South, the west, the north. Okay, so rooted in those four directions are the four aspects of self. Our emotions, physical body, mind, and spirit. The trickiest part is keeping them all balanced. If one side of the wheel is out, all sides are out, and we end up walking around like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But when we stand in the center of our lives and find balance, then we can connect with others in a good way. Even 
horses. Little doorway there to the east. A direction of new beginnings. Why don't you go stand in the center of the circle? a mighty fine horse there. It's pretty awesome. Of course, he still has a lot to learn. But he trusts you, that's the main thing. You want to hold on to that. Just keep being clear and direct with him. You can't waffle, otherwise you just confuse him. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. Kit calls again. Says she's been trying to get a hold of you all day. Basically, we were just really good friends. I never should have gotten married in the first place, you know? So we separated and uh, we made friends. We're both a lot happier. Mm -hmm. And you share custody of Max. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to live. I didn't get to see old Maxie boy here, hey? Mm -hmm. So now that you've met my dog, it stands to reason that you would introduce me to your family, right? My family? I don't think I haven't noticed you've been holding me hostage in the Deer Ranch all weekend. Not that I mind, honestly, because I don't. But you still haven't told them about me, have you? Well, you know, not, not exactly. I, um, no, I haven't, but I will. Yeah? Yes. You promise? Yes, I promise. Oh, I got something for you. I was going to give it to you last night, but I got the 911 max call, so there you go. Oh, my God. Peter, these are beautiful. Yeah, you like them? Yes. You know, I, I can't take these. They're, they're way too much. Hey, nothing is too much for Lou Fleming. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Last time your mom came to see me, she thought she had lost her way. She wanted clear answers about her life. Yes and no, right and wrong. Should she take this path or that path? Up here, she was able to quiet her mind and open her heart. She learned the answers were inside of her. Not out there somewhere, but in here. She just had to trust herself. Your mom was a courageous woman, Amy. Her spirit lives on in you. This medicine helped her let go of those things she didn't need to be carrying around in her heart. Maybe it'll help you too.
My dear Victor, how can I ever thank you for helping me find my way back to my heart, my gift, and my girls? I know what I have to do, face my fears of being a single mom, and move on to the next chapter of my life. I love you. Yours, Marion. Sorry to barge in. Um, I've been trying to reach you all day. I wanted to, um, that thing I said uh, about you wanting to do things Amy's way. Not cool. God, it's cold in here. <laughs> Maybe we could warm things up? <laughs> It, um... What? Are you breaking up with me? Is that why you've been avoiding me all day? No. No, it's just... Just say it, Ty. This whole time it's been Amy, right? No, come on, kid. I really like you. It's... You're great. It's just... I think we should... Just be friends. I'm sorry. I j You're sorry. All this time you've been leading me on, and all you can say is sorry? No. No, kid. I wish. I wish I had the right words to explain. I it. wish you would just be honest with me. Why can't you be honest with me instead of hurting me? Kit! Spartan? Spartan? Spartan! Spartan! Face my fears and move on to the next chapter of my life. Your mom was a courageous woman, Amy. Her spirit lives on in you.
so, uh, why didn't Grandpa come? Well, I sort of wanted to, um, well, not sort of wanted to. I, I needed to. Uh, well, it's not something that I could just, well, it just, it can't wait. So I, I just came and. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, fine. Okay. Have you seen Victor? Uh, something about looking for his eagle or. Oh, right. Okay, I'll be right back. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Victor, for everything. Didn't do anything. You connected with the center of that ball? All on your own. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Eagles flying over my head, circling as I sing, yeah. And if I hadn't known before, a blessed witnessing. Looks like your miracle worker got through to Spartan. <sighs> no, he got through to me. You were right, Spartan wasn't the one with the problem. So, uh, how's Harley? Uh, he's good. He's good. They finally let me ride him. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, look, Amy. I didn't come all the way out here just to give you a ride back to the ranch. I can't pretend anymore. This friends thing is it's not working out for me. What I mean to say okay. is that I want... Okay. You're a huge part of my life. A huge part of my heart. I... So many things have happened these past couple days. Something shifted. On the inside, I mean. I... It's hard to explain. But no matter what happens, we're gonna be okay. I can feel it. 